Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get the Red Alert 3 mod running, which is General's Evolution, which is basically as close to a zero hour remaster as we're probably ever gonna get. So if you wanna see cool action like this, rest in peace my PC, if the stream goes offline, then you know what happened. <laughs> oh my God. Then what you need to do is actually um, follow these instructions here on the screen that I prepared for you. So um, we're going to run through this really quick. What seven quick steps? The first um, step is to get Red Alert 3 because this is a mod for that game. So as of now, it's only working on Steam. So I'm here in. So I've got the Steam version. However, later on, it will be possibly working on Origins. So if you already have it on Origin, probably just wait a couple of days and it probably will work on Origin as well. So for now, I'm going to work on uh, it work running on Steam. So if you just go to the Steam um application or whatever you want to call it um if you go to the steam um store up here just click on store and then up here in the search you just want to type red alert 3 uh if i can type that red alert 3 you're going to click that and it's going to bring you to well actually yeah, if you just press search it's going to bring you to this if you click on it and you're going to buy it for me here it's currently on offer for three pound 59 i'm in the uk so that's probably close to like four dollars or four dollars fifty something like that so um yeah you want to get this game red alert 3 you want to install that through um through steam and get that all up and running then you want to run that game at least once so once once you've um got it running you'll probably get a, a shortcut on your desktop like this otherwise you can just go through your steam app and run it you want to run it at least once go in there probably play one game change your resolution change any settings you want to change get your graphics all nice and make sure the game is running nice and smoothly once that is done um then you don't need that um to run, run that game anymore just run it at least once um so that's step number two done step number three you need to get the gen evo mod general's evolution mod so to do that you li literally just go to google chrome or whatever web browser you've got type in general's evolution just type in General's Evolution, and then you're looking for the, the website that starts with um, moddb.com. So you can see it there. I've already clicked on it a few times, so it's in purple. But it's called moddb.com, and it says General's Evolution mod in the title. You're going to click that, and then it's going to take you through to this page where this guy, who has created it, which a big shout out to Gunship Mark, by the way. Gunship Mark 2, he seems to have created this pretty much by himself, so I believe. And if you want to support him, if you're on Patreon or whatever, um as if there's a few different bits of information in here on how you can either support him or you can join their discord channel and um, see screenshots and cool stuff like that but without further ado we'd, we just want to install it right now so we're going to go over here to files and now there's all the useful files i don't quite understand what this launcher is here but i think if you're getting any errors you can probably download that too for me it's working all fine so i don't currently need that however if you just want to install the mod um uh just beta 01 which is here then you're just going to go here and press download. If by the time you're watching this video, there is a new version out, then of course you will download a later version. This is beta 01 and there's a, apparently a patch already in the making for in the next couple of days. So you probably by the time you're watching this video, there will be a later version. But either way, I imagine that the install is going to be exactly the same. So you want to click that. You want to press download now. And then once you've downloaded now, you'll get this thing on your desktop here. It's called Gen Evo Beta 01.zip. You want to right click and then you want to extract here. So when you've extracted, you will get this folder here called Gen Evo. And now just to make sure it's worked, just want to double click in there, go in. You've got stuff for content creators. So you've got like, um, this is the desktop wallpaper. That's actually the one I'm using right now. Um, and then over here, you've got um, Gen Evo. And these are the two things that you want. So it doesn't matter where you unpack this Gen Evo. I've literally got it on my desktop. So I just have it on my other screen on my desktop. You can unpack it in your D drive, your C drive, Windows 32, wherever you, System 32, wherever you want to install it, you literally can do it. D games or wherever you install it is totally fine. And if you want to run the game in windowed mode, you click that one. And if you want to run it on just full screen mode, you double click that one. So if we look here now, um, that's step three done, unpack it anywhere. Now, you can either jump in straight away and have a little play or not, but what I recommend, first of all, is actually you do this next step, which is get the RA3 4GB Auto Patcher. Unpack it and run it. So as far as I'm aware from speaking to the various members of the community, um, RA3 only uses 4GB of memory. I'm, I'm assuming that's RAM and not VRAM of the graphics card, but um, either way, whether it's VRAM or whether it's um, uh, regular memory RAM, then uh, or D yeah, regular DDR RAM, then... Um, Either way, you want to install it and you want to double its um, available um, bandwidth or memory. So to do that, we're literally going to go back to Google, Google Chrome, and we're going to type into Google RA3 4GB Auto Updater. 
And then again, you're going to click on the mod DB link. So it's got this in the title. You're going to click there and then you're going to download this. Now, when you download this, if it comes up with this and it doesn't download, you just need to click here and it should go down the bottom left here. And then it's um, unpacked. These files, by the way, the Genevo beta is 760 meg. And that other one, I'm not sh quite sure how big that one is. If we just have a look how big this one is, it's really tiny, 285 kilobytes. So when this unpacks to your desktop, just the extract here. I'm using WinRAR to unzip, unzip this stuff if you don't have an unzipper, by the way. And then you're going to double click it. Um, you're just going to click through here. Make sure that CNC Red Alert 3 is ticked. If you have the other games installed and you want to unla unlock them for 4GB as well, then you can do and just press install. I'm not going to press install again because I already have it done. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then you just can delete that. Now, the reason you want to do that is because I was already playing one game. There was quite a few explosions on the screen. I think it was an anthrax bomb from GLA and my game actually crashed. Now, I haven't tried it again since installing this 4GB thing, but I'm led to believe that it will result in less crashes. So I highly recommend if you don't want your game to crash, probably get number five, get number five done and dusted. Uh, then you are ready to go. So we're going to, um, like I said before, we're going to open the Gen Evo folder that we had on our desktop, which was this one over here. We're going to click on Gen Evo, and I like to run it in windowed mode. So we're just going to literally double click windowed mode. It brings open this thing. Um, you can either join the Discord, support the project, whatever you want to do, or quit if you want to quit. <laughs> and then we're going to just press play. And uh, the game will, or should, fingers crossed, everything will boot up. So you can press escape there, and it just skips past that little animation, or you can watch it. And you are now inside of the game. Now, if you want to play um, online, so you see I'm online on CNC online. Well, first of all, if you want if you want to play on a skirmish, you can just go to this versus skirmish. And I highly recommend just playing on like Tournament Desert or whatever, just playing against the easy AI. The AI seems to be pretty hard to start off with. So literally get used to the game before you boot up. So you're just going to put medium or easy. You choose like China versus GLA, and then once you're inside of the game, then your first thing you're presented with is to change whether you want to play China Tank or China Infantry, or whether you want to play GLA Tox or Demo. You choose your faction inside of that game. So you can press play. I'm not going to press play just yet because I want to show you how to actually get the game up and running online. So the first things first, you would go to a website called cnconline.net and sign up there. Fill out all the things, fill out all your profile, your server name, your server password, all that kind of stuff. And then you want to go to options here. And then you go to settings once all that's done and then you go over to network and you want to set your online ip here to the one beginning with 192.168.1.1 uh, sorry dot 136 if it's set to blank or if it's set to the other one that usually begins with 25 or a much smaller number then your online probably won't work so you want to change it to that one instead once that's done you want to press confirm and then um, that's everything done. Probably another thing I should show you in here as well is if you're on your graphics, I always read things, negative things about vertical sync. So I have everything running on Max. Um, but if you want to turn vertical sync off, I believe that will probably improve the, the visuals and the uh, like screen tearing and stuff like that. I mean, you can Google more about that, but that's the only thing I actually have off. But as default, I think that comes on. So then you're ready to play a game. So we're just going to go into skirmish right now. But obviously, if you want to um, play online, we go into cncaonline.net. I'm not going to go through all that sign up process now, um, but it, just go to that website, fill out all the details and information. It will eventually tell you your server name and your password. And then you're just going to go to um, you're going to go to versus. You're going to go to online and then you're going to fill in your well, it's going to ask you for your information. Uh, if my, my, I'm currently already logged in, but it'll ask you for your information, your username, your email address, stuff like that. So right now we're just going to boot into a game. I'm going to go to Skirmish. We're going to play as China against GLA. Uh, Tournament Desert is like the go-to map in, well, I don't know if it will be in this game, but it is in the normal generals or zero hour. And you're just going to press begin and then you are literally booted in. So when you click on your CC, the uh, first thing you're presented with is to choose your faction, whether you want to play as Nuke, Tank or Inf. Now each will have different abilities. Obviously, tank is going to specialize in tank. Nuke is going to specialize in like nuke tanks and build a nuclear missile, stuff like that. And infantry should have stronger infantry. These will get adjusted as time goes by. So, for example, one overpowered thing at the moment is the Air Force General getting a laser command. She seems to be absolutely insane. It's one of the most OP things in the game so far, so I've seen. But in the first patch, that's going to actually change to move over to the laser general. So, um, so yeah, let's say you want to choose nuke. You're going to place your power. So it's different to General Zero because you don't have the the dozers and the workers running around and stuff like that, you're still using the same game engine and mechanics as in um, Red Alert. So, um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully that gets you up and running on this game. Hopefully see you on the battlefield or at least uh, get yourself playing against some um, some AI. 
and uh, GG, enjoy, and a massive shout out to um, Gunship Mark 2. <laughs> Very well played on this, absolutely stunning and amazing mod. So GG, and uh, see you soon.